Diving into the punk rock scene, one might be inclined to ask, is Fat Mike a skilled bass player? This question may seem surprising to some, given that Fat Mike, born Michael John Burkett, is better known as the lead vocalist and bassist for No FX, one of punk rock's most iconic bands. While many appreciate his brash lyrics and vibrant stage presence, it's time to shed some light on his skills with the four strings. Fat Mike's bass playing has always been a crucial component of the distinct No FX sound. Though punk bassists might not always get the limelight they deserve, Mike's lines are indispensable. They're catchy, melodic, and often drive the song forward as much as the guitars do. For instance, listen to the infectious bass line in Linoleum. It's not just about holding down the rhythm, it's about adding a layer of melody that gives the song its memorable touch. Similarly, tracks like The Bruise showcase how his bass can craft an underlying groove that anchors the entire song. When comparing Fat Mike to other punk bassists, it's essential to acknowledge peers like Matt Freeman of Rancid or Jay Bentley of Bad Religion. While Freeman is known for his rapid-fire, almost lead guitar-like approach to bass, and Bentley for his consistent rhythm backing, Fat Mike brings a blend of rhythmic foundation and melodic sensibility. He can keep a song grounded while introducing a catchy bass line that sticks with listeners long after the song ends. Unlike many bassists who stick strictly to the rhythm, Mike often ventures into melodic territory, creating hooks that can stand on their own. And, given the fast tempo of many no FX tracks, Mike displays a nimbleness in his playing, quickly transitioning between notes without missing a beat. While not as common, Mike sometimes introduces a punk version of slap bass, offering a punchier tone. And, his bass lines often interplay beautifully with the lead guitar, creating harmonies that enhance the overall song structure. In the grand landscape of bass guitarists, Fat Mike may not come up as frequently as legends like Giddy Lee or Flea. But within punk rock, his contributions are significant. His style, characterized by melody and rhythm in equal measure, sets him apart in a genre where bass often remains in the background. So, yes, by now I'd say we've pretty much answered the question of whether or not Fat Mike is a skilled bass player. His proficiency lies not in flamboyant solos or intricate techniques, but in the crafting of memorable bass lines that have resonated with punk fans for decades. In a genre that champions raw energy and authenticity, Fat Mike's bass playing reminds us all of just how important a strong musical foundation really is, even in the world of punk. For many of us it's sad to hear that no FX as a band are on their way out after being together for so long. Despite the controversies the band has had over the years, they have certainly left a large back catalog of music for us to enjoy for generations to come and will remain one of the most influential punk bands to have ever made the scene.